If you find a really good movie and they don't like it, dump them instantly. That's my advice. The second thing, they say the car door test. You ever see a Bronx Tale? No. It really doesn't apply nowadays, but it applies back in the past when there wasn't automatic door locks and you had to manually unlock the door. So what you do, you go over, you let the... I was going to say the broad in, but I don't think we <laughs> use those terms. <laughs> but I was trying to stay true at the time. So you let the broad in, uh, you close the door, and you keep your side of the door locked. And uh -huh. as you're going around the back of the car, if she doesn't take the time to unlock your door, she's selfish. She's not worth it. You dump her on the spot. Wow. Mm -hmm. No, I can agree with that. I've tried that. I don't know about I don't know about the dumping on the spot, but I definitely like you can raise the eyebrow. Yeah, I've tried it with Jess because my my car it's so old it didn't have automatic locks. She unlocked uh -huh. my door for me. Wow. That's how I knew. That's how I knew the car so had a problem nice. starting after that, but I knew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that at see, least we're well, in a good time. You see, that's where the women apply the car working test. <laughs> 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 Throw that right back in my face. <laughs> if your car doesn't start up, don't on the spot. <laughs>Oh, come on, Internet. It was my first car. It was a 95 Wrangler, and it was due to die any day. But we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on Dreadnought. And a big thank you to Six Foot for sponsoring this video and, and keeping this channel running. My God, I get to play games, you get to smile, they get to give me money, they get promotion. It's a win-win for everybody. But before Gomzi and I squad up to head into a team deathmatch and destroy the enemy, take a quick look at this clip of us kicking ass. Oh, son of a bitch, man, we're getting wrapped. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, there goes our final kill. Wow, we lost so hard. That's a shame. That That's a shame. Yeah, wrong, wrong, wrong clip. Roll the right clip. Stasis warhead locked in at the to the fly, oh, man! It's so amazing! Oh. Yeah, see, that was the clip I was looking for. This whole video plays out a lot differently if you think we're much better than we actually are. But before we get into those matches, just a few keywords from our sponsor. This game is free to play and is now available on Steam. You can fight in 8v8 matches. This is over 70 vessels and five specialized classes that range from tank base to sniper base to kind of sneak around and destroy. There's a tech tree which allows you to upgrade your ship and actually unlock new ships and also change the modules and the abilities that you get. So not only do you get to pick your ship and choose your playstyle based on your ship, you also get to modify that ship to change your playstyle for each individual module. So the best way to actually inform you of something is, I think, to show you it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Gomzi and I kicking some ass as we head into Dreadnought and prove to you that my skills transcend more than just shell shock. You may be impressed to see that. When we get to space-time technology, and like this is us, I really hope we have like flying ships like this that just and we and we decorate them and we make them look like weird like flying penises that shoot stuff. Uh, like Austin Powers. Can you just say that again? I just love the sound of that. Space-time technology. Space-time technology stuff. <laughs> just want to hear a sales pitch from you, Chilled. Of, of, from, of space-time technology. Space-time technology stuff. What is space-time technology? Oh, ooh. <laughs> That's like a way of just saying it's classified. Like, I use space-time technology. You don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's space-time technology. It's magic. It's the stock market. magic is just science you don't understand yet. That is really deep, but true. My, I got that from my physics teacher. Is that what he said? Magic is just science you don't understand? Every now and then you have one of those teachers that like you just connect with and you, he was like inspirational and he was one of those teachers. That's good. It's good. When the teacher makes you want to learn, that's impressive. I had a teacher and he was one of my favorite teachers, but I didn't know if he was a little creepy. He was a, my woodworking teacher. Uh, and like he really liked me. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really liked me. Really, really, yeah. He really <laughs> liked me. There were actually a couple teachers at my high school that got uh, busted for. Probably shouldn't talk about this in the video. <laughs> 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 so what scares me about space is you know how they say space is ever expanding? Yeah. yeah. The universe is ever expanding, space is ever expanding. What yeah. is it expanding into? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Likely. Oh, dude, whatever the heck is outside the that we'll never be able to death, reach, it might as well be nothing. It's the death of the universe. I, does it, doesn't it freak you out that there's nothing else out there? No, because how we're so far away, it doesn't matter. But like, is, if how it's, is it expanding? What is accelerating it? Well, what's accelerating? But what is it accelerating into? Like, think about like a puddle, right? And you have a puddle, and it's slowly spreading out on a table. Well, at least uh -huh. the puddle's spreading out into the table. And the table is, is, is the other material that the puddle is expanding onto. If space is the puddle, what is the table? Well, we can't? No. It you freaks know, me out, man! What I'm saying is that, like, the universe is expanding into every single point in space. 
Yeah, but let's be honest. There's some points in space you just don't go to, like a bad neighborhood. Let's just, I, I feel it. Well, how would you figure that out? Do we have well, where most yet? aliens are murdered. That's probably where I wouldn't go. Statistically, we don't know where the most aliens have been murdered. It's Statistically, it's, it's Earth at the moment because we don't have any other data. Well, that, that wouldn't be aliens. Oh, That'd we're aliens humans. to somebody else. Yeah, I, mean, well, I, I, mean, I like to believe that be there is ourselves. no other intelligent life out there. If there, and if there is, they're just as intelligent as us, or at the same point. So dumb, dumb as bricks. So dumb, still. Yeah, because if like if, I think as soon as we figure out how to leave our solar system, I think other civilizations will be about at that same point too. You guys want to know how I discovered infinity? Was it was it like like, 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 like realized like infinity is a thing? Like numbers just never end. How? What? What was it? So, taking a shit and just net. You kept wiping and just never. I thought about like, I looked at a box of Cheerios when I was a kid, and I thought, okay, so let's. I'll just like dump these all on the floor, and I can count all the Cheerios, mm -hmm. and that's a lot of Cheerios. But then I realized, wait a minute, I could pour more Cheerios, and that'd be even more Cheerios. <laughs> But because I could keep doing that, and there would be even more Cheerios. Is there even a number for that many Cheerios? Well, you know, I'm glad I never had an existential crisis about infinite my, Cheerios. My, my parents were too poor to buy me that many boxes of Cheerios. <laughs> I ran out after a half box. Oh, we have 36 Cheerios. <laughs> oh, wow. I just got double clicked. Uh, uh, destroyed, Captain. Nuke! I want to see, I want to see first man. Who nukes, who nukes 30 seconds into a game? The the other the time. Time. Well, hold on. That's like if the U.S. <laughs> dropped. Nuke. Oh my God! Come on, man. Well, that was Fat Boy. That was Little Man. Where's the third one? We didn't, we didn't have a third one, right? Uh, I don't no, know. There's a Corvette on the left. How? Well, don't worry about the Corvette, man. He's, he's danger close. Yeah, but we got bigger things. Danger close. Red alert. Are, they do have supposedly Ooh. three dreadnoughts. I actually Dude, haven't seen yet. The siege is when you do siege mode. It does AOE shots. Yeah. Yeah, they're explosive rounds. Oh my! Why was I using the missile cannons? This is fantastic. Oh, I, just, so I, I was using siege mode the entire time. I didn't oh my to use God! The siege thing for the other one. Dude, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am hurting people physically. Go for you see super method uh, top left. Yep, I'm shooting him. Okay, yeah, is that one shot away. I got him. Again. Boom! There you go. Oh, that was a kill still if I've ever seen one. I've never <laughs> seen one before. <laughs> yeah, oh, you didn't see the Corvette either. Freaking core! I put some flak on him, man. Yeah, yeah he's gonna die. Don't worry. I keep forgetting oh, let's to. Get the, uh, let's, get this, let's get this zone. This zone zone elixir. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going down. Oh, and we're weapon boosted too. Yeah. Boom. Okay, Dungeon. Gonna... I'm popping my anti missile oh, lasers. Oh, uh, yeah. That'll be good. Corvette. Corvette top Thank left. You. God damn. I'm, oh. go I'm going down. Keep yelling at me. Oh, God. You're pretty far to the, the front. <laughs> you I got know. a Corvette approaching. A Corvette approaching. Back it up. Back it up. I can almost go siege mode. Oh, 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 no, 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 no! Wait, my ship's upside down! Oh, nuke incoming. <laughs> nuke incoming! <laughs> so nonchalant. I wonder if that's what they said in the 60s. Yeah, <laughs> nuke incoming. Yeah, nuke incoming. Uh, second <laughs> nuke incoming. It's another yeah. Tuesday. Dude, can you... <laughs> I, I think about that. Like, think of the weapons these guns have, right? Like, legitimately, it's firing a nuke from a... Uh, like, I mean, we have... I guess we have nuclear submarines, so it's kind of the same thing. But we used to think that we would get under the desk in the event of a nuclear bomb, and that's how and we... Yeah. yeah, like what, what tells the you hell? It's gonna start coming back, man. You know what, maybe? <laughs> Dreadnought just appeared in the middle. Do we wanna, we gonna nuke it? Oh, it's going down, it's going down. Woo! Oh, who, who shot it with 13 health? Who's the SOB who did that? Liberation. Son of a gun. Oh, oh, healer just finally showed himself. Standalone? Yeah, standalone, I'm shooting at him right now. Yeah, I'm gonna try and shoot uh, both of these both. Boom, come on, you son of a gun. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, yeah, you're going down, fella. If you hold oh, F, you'll, uh, you can mark a target. Oh, damn. There we go. That makes my life easier. He's got 500 health. We got one shot on one shot, one shot. I'll finish my face. Alright, I got yeah. This feels like a, a good game we got going. Come on, going lasers. How come you're not getting them all? Come on. You keep coming? That's fine. I've had a good life. <laughs> Dude. Well, maybe maybe that's the attitude we'll have when we're old. It's like, ah, the nukes are finally yeah, nukes I saw it. <laughs> there was a segment going on, uh, a news segment. I'm not sure if it's on Reddit. And it was in Brazil. And there was well, a people are just saying that. They're like, eh, 
no, no, there was a uh, there's a reporter who went around with an airsoft gun, and he was trying to show that people are getting robbed with just BB guns and airsoft guns. Uh, I forgot what it was. It was a definitely Spanish-speaking country, and he approached the guy with the gun out. He's like, "Sir, imagine someone pointing a gun at you." First of all, he was pointing a gun at him. Imagine someone pointing a gun at you. What would you do? And the guy replied, "Nothing." He said, "Why nothing?" He says, "I don't want to live anymore." <laughs> <laughs> it was so sad. So sad, yeah. Because he was like a 70 year old man and that was Finally. his way out. <laughs> that was his way out. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, life, it's a beautiful thing. Boom. Oh, yeah. Come yeah, on, final come blow. Oh, I can't. Ooh, 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 we popped a shield. If we kill this Atuka guy, we win. Yeah, that's who yeah, I'm shooting at right gone. now. Yeah. Oh, he just disappeared. Got Yay! <laughs> Did he blow up or was it someone else? It was him. It was Atuka. Nice. That was a clean win. I think I actually got a solid amount of kills that game too. I think I think we we finally figured out what the hell we're doing. I don't think I died. Hey, we almost all made it. I thought I did pretty well. Hey, hey look, we got red, green, blue. <laughs> America, we're gonna chill. You suck. <laughs> well, we're getting people are they know us and they're all talking shit. Like when did this happen? I call them Chaos Viking. They got two of our nicknames, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, one yeah one of our nicknames, right? Sorry. Oh, that's funny. Except for children suck, that guy hurts. Yeah, how <laughs> personal, personal stats. I got five kills. I went uh I went ten and five. Five assists. Gom didn't die. Nine and zero. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you died five times. Hey man, you those Corvettes were on me squad. like bees on honey, okay? That was that was rough. Chosen film. So Z, what do you remember about yourself? When you were born, do you remember coming out? No, I remember Boom. Memories erased. You probably are living in a simulation. If you don't remember your birth, if you don't remember that traumatic moment, you're probably living. Do you remember your birth? I, I do. The trauma, it's what defines me. <laughs> I remember the day I was born. <laughs> They're behind us. Corvette's behind us. Corvette's behind us. Yeah, they've got like two, three Corvettes. Oh, no, not this crap again. Did I just get hit by the power? Dude, the, oh my god, they're gonna wreck us. Oh, nice shot. I helped. You have flak shirts, you know. I know, but if I can get a snipe off. Oh, yes! Oh, suck yeah. on that! Oh, God. Yeah, he just got sniped. Watch out. Oh, oh there's God. a corner directly behind you. Oh, God. It's too late. It's too late. Well, you know what? They took a lot of deaths. We actually took the lead because they, they rushed us. Corvettes are behind us again. Oh, ho, 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 ho! You can't attack me because I got flak cannons! That's right. I feel good. I feel good. I'm going to blow up if no one heals me. God damn. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by like a nuke. Oh, we got we got two Corvettes, two Corvettes. Oh my God, my health is so bad. Oh, holy freaking! So that siege mode, I didn't realize you get like four sniper shots. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. But but you can't. But it limits your movement. I don't think you can even move. Yeah, I was stuck. I I was a, I was a duck in a, a duck in a barrel, fish in a barrel, duck in the pond. That's the correct terminology. Duck uh, in a uh, fish in a barrel. Fish in a barrel. Fl you know, a I was, fly I was in a spider web. Uh, a flying a spider web? That's a good A dog uh, in an air trap? A dog? Wait, what? Bear trap? A dog? Wait, really? A dog in a bear trap? That's a, that's a term? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking of an ant. Give me the bear trap. I mean, that's right, right? Trap. The dog can't move and a dog is helpless. I, I think mostly anything in the bear trap would fall into that scene. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. A child in a bear trap? A child in a bear trap? Oh, God. Donkey in an elevator? Donkey. Elephant in the elevator. Oh, man. Start, I'm going to start using that one. Oh, man. We got to address the elephant in the elevator. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to break. Uh, <laughs> The the elephant in the room. Guys, I've got 13 kills! Did you get, I just saw the double, man. That was good. These Corvettes keep flying in and harassing. Did we win? Yeah, dude, we won by, yeah. a, uh, by such a long shot. Well, the we Corvettes, won by like 70 plus points. Those Corvettes just detriment. kept suicide running I know. at me, dude. It was like that serious Sam. Oh! <laughs> Wow, twenty. That's a that's a big that's. A big <laughs> that's, that's a big they just kept running at me. Yeah, I like this guy's name. Captain Suck My Balls. <laughs> you have Captain Kirk and then Captain. Uh, what do you want to be called? Suck My Balls. Ah, Captain Suck My Balls. <laughs> Captain Suck My Balls, sir. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a tattoo on my on my, on my, my upper right shoulder. Really? Yeah. I'm thinking what? about it. What? Up? Just gonna say no fear. Boom. <laughs> One fear on the other arm. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Like, maybe and like and then, Asian writing too. Well, as things get kind of tough, add little check marks. Like, okay, one fear, <laughs> one fear, <laughs> two fear. Yeah. What if I, what if you just got tattooed to become self shaded or something? People do that, right? No. Like, I mean, you think uh, of the you, uh, going, like, you know you know that style like uh, like you'll yeah, see the it, uh, cosplayers do. Yeah. Just get tattoos of that so you're permanently like that. <laughs> you just look you just look like you're from a video game. Permanently cartoon. I got a Corvette on me. These damn Corvettes are just everywhere. 
think they only have like one. Okay, well this damn corp it's like a gnat. <laughs> Once you let one fly into your house, how many times a day do you see that fly? I see it at least 17 times. <laughs> yeah, no, that's right? so satisfying why oh I fire God, a single shot at someone and then they die. Yeah, were you talking about the fly or people and humans? Because like sometimes I'll do that with the fly, I'll hit it with like a, a squirt gun, and you get him and you you you, you oh, yeah, paralyze. Just one shot. It's like boom. Yeah. i have I ever told you my greatest feat? Of what? Fly on the wall, shot it with a nerf gun, hit it. Killed instantly. I felt like that. Who's that? Oh, Chris. Right. What, what, what? What? Come on, dude. First of all, you can't get close to fly, otherwise it flies away. That's the nature of a fly. Second of all, nerf guns are not accurate. At all. I felt like American Sniper. I called in the shot. I told Jess to stand back, made sure there was no civilians. Bottle. Why is it easy to no, kill? No, 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 I can't use a spray bottle. It's like a paper. shotgun. They use cheap For paint bugs. here. I can't do that. It's, <laughs> I'll take off the paint. I'm telling you, you hit it with the... You, 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 you shoot a fly at a, at a, on, on the wall. Or better yet, let me change my story and just completely lie. I shot it midair, like they do in the Karate Kid. Midair with the saw gun, man. Yeah, that's 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 pretty impressive. Good job. Thank you, thank you. So are you the guy who's like a billion meters in front of everybody else in the middle of this Uh, room? yeah, yeah, I am. I'm actually I flew okay, under cool, them. There's a dreadnought and Corvette behind you. That's fine. If I'm chasing them away, I'm a hero. Remember me. Get a tattoo of me. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna get a tattoo of you. I'll, I'll put a plaque in my ship for you. <laughs> Wow, God. clearly I meant so much. <laughs> I think the most I would do, I'd, I'd visit your funeral, and I'd go to your. Gra I'd put flowers that you want. What do you want in your graves? Just visit the funeral. Yeah, I'd visit it. I know I got things. Just pop in for a little bit to say hi. And... I want yeah. someone to just put. I just want to put hello on my grave. This hey. Like hello. with chalk? Like what do you want me to do? Permanent marker? Oh, I mean, if you're gonna put it on there, yeah, I guess you. Can. Oh! That is like I did to the fly, man. Oh. I think on your on your tombstone, I'm gonna leave a copy of every new release gum. Every single day. <laughs> yep. I know I'd that's what you'd want. And Z, I would leave a copy of Stephen Hawking's podcast. I'd read to you his podcast. His podcast. Yeah, oh my well, god, did he the have one? Cat, it's so amazing. I just know you'd want to listen to. I'd read to you his books. Gum gets every new release, and I get a single podcast. I'd read some of his books to you. Like I'd sit there and I'd like I'd turn the page and I'd tell you like what I think about it. Like, look, I really don't understand this passage, but it sounds really enlightening. And I just keep reading. And maybe there'd be some osmosis of information while you're dead. And I think that'd be nice. If you don't want me to do it, I don't have to do it.